hi guys welcome back to the Kaliwe cooks channel i'm gonna show you a quick recipe for creamed spinach um we start off with a pot i just am salting it generously i'm doing it before adding the water because i really want you to see just how generous i am it needs to be quite salty and in addition to that i am also adding like about a teaspoon yeah a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda um if you've seen a lot of my videos you'll know this is the combo that ensures your greens stay green um that's all there is to it really so there's my bicarbonate of soda and i boil my water you know already in the kettle obviously so that it doesn't take forever boiling um, on the table or the stove top so i'm just gonna pour the boiling water here and then the spinach will come in so i do this i blanch my spinach obviously for making cream spinach um so that it doesn't look brownish it looks nice and green and vibrant but i also do it without having um chopped my spinach beforehand i think it's so much easier chopping it after having blanched it you'll see just now I keep the spinach in this water for exactly two minutes, no longer than that. So yeah, I'm just making sure that it's, you know, fully covered or submerged in the water. That's why I'm pressing it. But two minutes is the absolute max before you move it to your ice water. So I don't have any ice, so I'm going to do this under running tap um, water, cold water. However... What you actually should do is have um, some water in a bowl, add some ice to it, so that when you transfer this onto that bowl of ice cold water, it immediately stops cooking. So that is the thought process behind everything. So if you've ever experienced um, biting into like soil when eating like uh, a green leafy veg like this you will uh, appreciate this method as well because you would have washed it obviously before cooking it but now this is getting a chance to be washed again and if there was any leftover soil particles they most certainly won't be there at the end of the cooking process um, so I'm just going to um, leave this to to just drain off the water quickly but i'm actually going to assist it so take a kitchen towel a clean kitchen towel um or if you have paper towels they work best because you can just um transfer this onto a paper or to paper towels and then wring out as much excess liquid as you can um because when you're making creamed spinach you don't want excess um liquid in the form of water because you want it to be nice and creamy and controlled so i want to be cooking my onions while i chop my spinach so that is two tablespoons of butter uh as you can see my pot is really hot you know there's no need for it to be that hot but yeah, I'm just going to add onions that are chopped to this. That is half a large onion that I'm going to add to this. So this is actually creating burnt butter, mm, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just needn't go any further than this. It's nice and brown now, and it means it has a really nice nutty flavor. So it actually adds to this dish. Um this cream spinach was incredibly um you know very flavorful and i think the the brown butter actually did something to that but 
don't purposely think you want to burn your butter because, you know, it can go wrong very quickly. And this is literally as far as you could have taken it. So I'm just going to do the onions on the side here. I'll also add some garlic, um, a tablespoon of garlic to this as well. And have it go while I chop my spinach. So I want to go and show you how, you know, how I chop the spinach and how quickly it is. And you'll see what I meant by it's so much easier to chop spinach after blanching. It is even neater. Like, I know I hate how when I'm chopping spinach, I feel like it goes everywhere all over my hands. Okay, so here's my spinach that's been blanched and I've wrung out as much liquid as I could from it. And look how easy it is. So, you know how spinach is when it cooks. It looks so tiny. Um, this was a, 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 a bunch. So, you know when you buy spinach by the bunch, by the bunch um, at like Food Lovers Market or like any like um, fruit and veg shop. Not the one in packets. I bought the one in bunches, the very cheap one. So it's a whole bunch, but look at how tiny it is. So if you have a bigger family, you probably would need two, um, two bunches of it. And you would obviously increase the quantities um, by two of whatever I would have mentioned on here. But yeah, here we are. Nice and ready. Easy peasy. If you notice um, more water at the stage, you can still get it out. So I'm doing that by just patting paper towels um, over this whole thing. And as you can see, there's still a lot of moisture. You'll never get rid of moisture, obviously, the spinach. It's probably 80% water in its, in its, you know, by itself before it even gets into water. So yeah, that is expected. But yeah, we're ready. Once our onion and garlic mixture is ready, um, you just add your cream. This is fresh cream. I'm using all of the 250 ml of fresh cream in here. Add a dash of nutmeg, literally like a pinch. You saw how tiny that is. That's how much you need of nutmeg. Please don't add any more. It becomes pungent and unpleasantly so. Now we season this, so you need to season this generously, but also according to your tastes, of course. So rather don't overdo it here. If it's not salted well, then you can just um, add more salt later than doing it too much here and ruining your whole dish. Add pepper also generously and just stir everything together. This is a nice base for our spinach. As you know, there are a lot of different recipes using um, roux, using cream cheese. They're different um, and obviously for different reasons. This I find nice and luxurious. Um, I find it's creamier than using roux, of course, but I find it less creamy than using cream cheese. So it's really a balancing factor. because Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming, but I also think it depends on what you're serving it with. Then you can decide on what kind of recipe to use. But I think this is a nice all-rounder and it's one of the simpler recipes. Next, we are going to add our whole grain mustard, Dijon mustard. So I add about a teaspoon of this. And honestly, it's just here to bring a roundness of flavor to this whole thing it's got a bit of a kick it's got a bit of a tang to it but because we're adding such a small amount all it does is balance everything out you don't overtly taste mustard you'll notice i'm not necessarily rushing through the process of adding all of these ingredients and the reason for that is i'm also trying to give the cream a chance to like um, reduce down and evaporate you know so that it is thicker so that is the game we're playing really you want it to be kind of thick by the time you have to add the spinach because you don't want too much time to pass after having added the spinach so once you're happy with how i think reduced your sauce is then add the spinach 
yeah, just to reduce the cooking time on the actual spinach as it's already been blanched. My sauce clearly needs to reduce further. So I my my stove is on high heat, so I'm just gonna stir constantly so that obviously it doesn't burn while reducing. This is the perfect time to start tasting um, to balance out your seasoning. After a few more minutes, I am happy with where we are right now. That's it for today's video. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment down below on what other recipes you'd like me to share. In fact, what other type of content I should be doing in general. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day.